Venus moved into Libra yesterday and then met with the crescent moon this morning. And so let's talk a little bit about that. Okay, so Venus, our divine feminine planet, the planet that represents the feminine in our world within ourselves, all of us, no matter how we identify, right, have that yin aspect, um, moved into Libra. So Libra is the serving others sign a cardinal sign serving others and it is so much about serves others the community through personal individual relationships right so that's why libra is known as like the peacemaker it wants to keep the balance it doesn't want to rock the boat right so the traditional or more like patriarchal way we associate venus is like love and beauty and relationships is happy moving into Libra, right? There's a resonance with the kind of stereotypical way that we look at the feminine, right? So I think that Venus is happy in all the signs and is looking to express herself, her, the feminine in all the different signs, right? Not just limited to um, kind of traditional astrology uh, roles, right? So here we have the feminine moving into Libra. What's going on with that? So Libra is wants to learn about itself through its relationships, right? So it wants to understand itself like the dolphin that sends out sonar. And then the message it gets back is like how it knows where it is in space, who it is, what's going on in its environment. That's a lot like Libra. And so Libra is always trying to understand itself through that reflection, through those waves that come back to it. And that's part of why it will be focused on keeping the peace and not rocking the boat because it wants it to all feel okay and be harmonious, right? But I think a big part of Libra's learning, if Libra is prominent on your chart, especially is... I know myself regardless of the feedback or the projections that I'm getting around myself, right? And that's a journey. That's a process. It's not something you arrive at immediately. So here we have the feminine moving into Libra where we can like know ourselves better through our relationships. That's why Libra is always seeking like equal, more conscious relationships because then it's a clear reflection that comes back of, oh, I know who I am and this feels like right to me, you know, but it's really to know myself regardless of what's coming back to me, right? So Venus moved into <clears throat> Libra at the equinox point, right? So we just had that September equinox, the sun reaches that point, and then Venus just reached that yesterday. So Venus is at that equinox point, which is just cool to know in the sky. And then the moon met with Venus this morning to move us into the throat chakra gate, which I'll explain more. So let's share some pictures and have a look at all this stuff. Okay, so first image here, this is yesterday. So here is the moon, not quite into Libra yet, on its way coming down to Venus. Here's Venus at that Libra September equinox point. And then let's look at this next one of, that didn't go exactly as I thought. So here we'll share again. And here is this morning, right? So the moon has covered all that distance, moved into Libra, just like Venus, and then is close by, right? Here's that waning crescent moon on its way to the new moon coming early next week, right? So here we have <clears throat> this. So when the moon meets with Venus in the morning sky, we're following, we're inspired by the most ancient myth that we have written down on those clay tablets from ancient Sumer in the Middle East that is a telling of the goddess Inanna, the queen of heaven and earth, and her descent into the underworld. And it's a literal telling of the Venus cycle. Inanna is Venus. Venus is Inanna, right? So each month we have the moon meet with Venus and it signals one of the seven gates that Inanna has to go through 
on her way into the underworld. And at each gate, she has to give up like one of her power pieces, like her in her earrings or breastplate or her um, crown. And so this particular union this morning was us moving into the throat chakra. So it's a month of what are we releasing, letting go of around our throat chakra on our journey towards the underworld when Venus and the sun will meet together. So it's a time to focus on our voice, our sound, our communication, how we receive this information as well, right? But speaking up for ourselves. And so when we're thinking about Venus moving into Libra and then at the throat chakra and these two lining up right now, which is not the case every Venus cycle, is how can the feminine, the Libra, know herself and share who she really is, right? What are something that we can let go of, release, focus on, have an intention over this month that we want to clear and cleanse from our throat chakra so that we can share more of who we truly and clearly are, right? So it's interesting that we think of, you know, in traditional astrology, that kind of limitation around the feminine and then Libra being like um, kind of traditionally a part of that. And now we have the throat chakra. And so how can we shift that and let our feminine sides, no matter how we identify, speak up for ourselves, right? And something that we were talking about in Venus Alchemy um, at this live class we just did was about like speaking our truth right and it came up that sometimes people will say like oh i'm just speaking my truth when they're really like saying mean things or judgmental or they're just totally projecting like their own stuff onto you and so speaking our truth is like comes from a really vulnerable place right it's a place of i feel like this I am having this experience that's not anything to do with you or what you're doing, but I'm sharing my honest truth for myself that's about me, right? It's kind of like having a boundary. Your boundary isn't about someone else and what they need to do. It's about what you need and what's like okay for you, right? So I think it's interesting all this stuff is coming up around this throat chakra gate with Libra specifically. So let's just take this and look at the Stellarium software to see, where did it go? It's off my desktop, we'll put it up, there we go. And I will share and we'll look at where this is happening in the sky and then we'll bring this all to a close. Okay, is it sharing? Wait, it didn't, let's try to share again. Here we go and share. There we go. Now we're there. Okay. So you see here is again this morning, right? So just a little bit after the moon met with Venus, but here we see it in the sky in Libra in the priestess constellation, right? So a little before sunrise here, you can see the moon and Venus have both moved through Virgo here, right? In the lion constellation and now have moved into Libra, the equinox point where the sun was in September in the priestess constellation. So it's always good to remember that constellations and the signs are not the same thing. And this is a great example of that. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and we can see here the, the September equinox point is here in this beginning part, this kind of shoulder part of the priestess constellation. So Last thing I'll say is just what is it that you want to be focusing on letting go of and releasing from your throat chakra over this upcoming month? I, my intention that I set this morning was I still find myself like not speaking up about like the patriarchy in certain situations, like maybe with a bunch of men, you know, or having this kind of fear around like, oh, being that like, angry woman who's but even though you're not being angry you're just like sharing like hey this is like the stuff that we're trying to shift out of right so that's my intention is to help kind of clear more of the fear that prevents me from speaking up in certain situations so I'd love to hear yours if you want to share all right thanks so much for being here bye